Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take 7 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. And we have x minus 3, 4 raised to the power 6, minus 7 raised to the power 6, equals to 0 from here. The next step here, we can write this as x minus 3, 4 raised to the power 3, then 4 raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6 minus. Also, here we have 7 raised to the power 3. Then all raised to the power 2 equals to 0 from here. And next step here, this follows difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open brackets a minus b. That is here, a is standing as x minus 3. All raised to power 3 and b standing as 7 raised to power 3 which implies what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 7 raised to power 3 into brackets then also open brackets x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 7 raised to power 3 close brackets then equals to 0 from here then here we have two possible cases now that is x minus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 7 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 7 raised to power 3 equals to zero here then solving from the first case here this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is this follows here and becomes x minus 3 plus 7 into brackets also open brackets x minus 3 all squared minus 7 times x minus 3 then plus 7 square plus brackets equals to 0 here that is this is same thing as x plus 4 here plus brackets also open brackets expansion here gives us x squared minus 6x then plus 9 then here minus 7 open the bracket we have minus 7x plus 21 then plus 7 squared that's 49 close bracket equals to 0 here which implies this can be written as x plus 4 into bracket also open bracket x square the minus 6x minus 7x give us minus 13x then 21 plus 49 that gives us 70 then plus 9 we have 79 then close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two cases now that is x plus 4 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 13x plus 79 equals to 0 here then this side we have x equals to minus 4 which is a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are equals to 1 b equals to minus 13 and c equals to 79 and when we apply the quadratic formula when we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 is c all over 2a at this here we have x equals to minus minus 13 plus or minus square root of minus 13 squared minus 4 times 1 times 79 then over 2 times 1 which implies here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus so here we have 13 plus or minus square root of 
minus 13 squared, that's 169. Then minus 4 times 1 times 79, it was 316. Then all over 2 here. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of 169 minus 316. We have minus 147, then all over 2. That is, we can write it as x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of, here we have 49 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 here, which implies we can bring out root 49, that's 7, and we have x equals to 13 plus or minus 7, then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. That is, here we have two complex solutions from here then solving from the second case here this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets the open bracket a square plus a b plus b square that is yeah what we have becomes x minus 3 minus 7 into brackets, then open brackets, x minus 3 or square plus 7 times x minus 3 plus brackets and plus 7 square plus brackets equals to 0 here, which implies here this becomes x minus 10 into brackets, then open brackets. Expansion here gives us x square minus 6x plus 9. The 7 open base bracket, we have 7 plus 7x seven minus 21, then plus 7 squared, that's 49, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Which implies, yeah, you can write this as x minus 10 into bracket, open bracket, x square minus 6x plus 7x, that gives us plus x. Then we have minus 21 plus 49. That's 20 hits, then 20 hits plus 9. That gives us plus 37, close bracket, equals to 0 here. And then here also we have two possible cases. x minus 10 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus x plus 37 equals to 0 from here. That is, on this side we have x equals to 10 which is a real solution. And here, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 1, and c equals to 37. And applying the correct formula, here we have x now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 37. Then all over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square, that's 1 minus 4 times 1 times 37. We have 148 then over 2 here. Which implies what we have becomes x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 148 equals minus 147, then over 2 here. That is, we can write this as x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 49 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. That is, here. Yeah. Root 49, that's 7. We take it out and we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 7. We have root 3, then root minus 1, that's i over 2 here. Which implies also here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, altogether here we have six solutions in this given problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. 
See you next class and bye for now.